an amazing opportunity to play at the Chase Center. There's not many schools that get to experience that, the opportunity to play in an NBA arena in a place that big and also one of the newest arenas in the NBA. It really takes your breath away when you first walk in, especially when you know this is also the Warriors' home as well, and the players like Steph Curry playing on the same court. All they could talk about is, oh, we're going to hit a shot at the same spot Steph did, the same spot the Draymond made a play. You see courts like this in 2K. That's, that's where you play in them, you know what I'm saying? And when you have a chance to actually play there, it's just different. Just watching the guys walk into the gym and uh, walking into the locker room and, and allowing them to experience an NBA venue, it was, uh, it was amazing and I know the guys really appreciated it. One, two, one, two, three, oh! A lot of college basketball players' dream is to play in the NBA, so just being in that atmosphere and then being in that arena and having all of our fans come out and stuff like that shows a lot of love and it's, just, it's fun to beat her. And a very pleasant good afternoon to you from the NBA's newest venue. The Dons trying to make it two in a row to start the new season. From Mealy with her first two of the afternoon. Langer into the lane in traffic scores it. Our coaches this year really challenged us with the scheduling. We got, uh, I believe, four Pac-12 teams on our non-conference play. And all of December, we are on the road. So, I mean, you look at it, it's a pretty tough schedule that we have ahead of us. You know, so part of going on the road is so you get used to those tough road trips in the WCC and even in the postseason. And that, that includes the trades too, you know. If, if we get to our goal, which is playing the postseason, we're going to be playing in arenas like that. Stefanini, left side towards the lane. Foul line jumper. Good. Boy, he found space. Finding Reedney for a three. Good. He was behind the NBA line. Running up and down the sideline and hearing our fans like sitting courtside, it was it's such a cool feeling. It's such a big arena, but you can really feel them being close to us and being there for us and supporting us. We were really, uh, just really pleased and happy about all the students that made it. I think we had 1,200 students, and I'll tell you, that's about 20% of the school. But when you have people from your community supporting you and genuinely being happy for what you did, it just makes your soul feel warmer. I think that would be the best part of saying that. You're passionate about your school, you're passionate about your classmates that you see playing, and that, that energy is what makes college basketball so special. Stefanini, jumper on the way, good, a three! And that's how the half ends. Lobbing for Bouye, dunk! The lob and the jam. 57-53. Nas need a basket here with 15 to shoot and a minute 20 to go. Bouye, left side at the lane. Taps it out with four to shoot. Way, way deep triple. Good! Are you kidding me? He was way beyond the NBA line. He put Steph Curry's alma mater away with Steph Curry's shot. So let's just, you know, let's just put this into perspective, right? Big time players make big time play plays. That's as simple as that. And the USF Dons beat a pretty tough defensive Davidson team. It was the Dons 65 and the Wildcats 60. I think it gives us confidence that, you know, what we're building is working. And this new team and new guys that we have together, that nucleus is working and guys are stepping up. And uh, it, it really has propelled us to be confident as we continue on through the season. Playing at the University of San Francisco gives you opportunities and experiences that you wouldn't normally have. You got to experience an arena like that, an atmosphere like that, and especially to play in it, it was amazing.